Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. First of all, excuse my voice. I am been sick for a week trying to get my project out and it's just been almost impossible. I'm actually filming this the day before, which I'm usually a little bit ahead. Um, I'm, I'm filming this the day before because I couldn't even speak without coughing before. And so I'm going to try to get through this without drinking my water. I brought it with me. With me. <laughs> but um, I really wanted to get the project out to you. So this is what we are sharing today. I'm sharing. It's like a milk carton. I really love milk cartons. They're one of my favorite to do, and they're really easy to do. This one's a little bit more involved because I changed up the colors to make it look like a candy corn. And so... This is what I'm sharing today. If you are new, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and comment below and share if you like it because it really helps to reach other people. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right, so let's move on with the project. So what you're going to need for this, I am using a couple bundles. So I am using the Bewitching Bundle. You can make this even just a fall one, but I'm making it for Halloween. So um, this is the Bewitching Bundle, and it comes with the punch, and this is the Hat Builder Punch, I believe. I'll put it in this video. My brain isn't working today, <laughs> or it hasn't worked for a week pretty much. <laughs> so this is the bundle that I'm using, and then I'm using the Alpha Best Bundle, which comes with the best label. You know how I love this one. I've used it quite a bit. I cannot get enough of this bundle. I'm always trying to figure out a way to use it. And today was one of the ways. Then I'm using the designer tags, which you can actually just make your own tag if you want. But I love this tag because it's stitched. And, you know, I really just like it. just adds a little bit more detail to it. So that is all that I'm using for this. So the things that you're going to need for this to make this is you're going to use some Daffodil Delight. This piece is 3.5 by 8.5. You're going to need a piece of pumpkin pie that's two and a half by eight and a half, and then a piece of basic white that's one and a half by eight and a half. And then you are going to also need scrap for stamping and punching your pieces, and an, another piece of scrap black, and that is for cutting the tag out. I'm also using the black and white trim if you have this this is retired it came in a package this is playful the playful pets trim and I just grabbed this because we don't have any other black and white but I'll link in the description below um, one you can find like on Amazon I'm also using the metallic mesh ribbon and this is just perfect for Halloween I love this all right so let's get started stamping first you know I love to stamp first and we're going to punch out our pieces, and we're going to move on from there. All right, so the Memento Black is what I'm using because we're using our blends. And I'm going to stamp this witch's hat. This is the one I decided to use on here because I wanted to use the colors. And I didn't want too much black be, uh, in front of the black tag. So I'm using this one, and I like this one too. It's really cute. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp. I think I'm going to grab another piece actually for this so that I can just punch this or stamp these and then punch them as I go along. So I mean these this one has a lot of different frames that you can use for it. Oh, I messed that one up. I'm just pressing too hard. I don't know. I just don't have it together today. I'm sorry y'all, but I wanted to get this out to you. So I am just going to do three, and that is for the boo. So I'm going to stamp with the pumpkin pie the boo. So we're going to use the B. And the O. This is by far my favorite alphabet stamp set that we've had. And I've liked quite a few of them, but I really love this. So there's the boo, and that's pretty much all that we're stamping, y'all. 
So I am going to use my blends and I'm using Pumpkin Pie Light and Dark, Daffodil Delight Light and Dark, and then I am using, I think this is Grey Granite, yeah, Grey Granite. Oh, I'm using the Light and Dark of the Grey Granite. Let's just start by doing the um, hat in the light, Pumpkin Pie. We're going to just shade it a little bit. I'm not going to zoom in today, y'all, because my I am not going to remember to zoom out, I guarantee you. <laughs> My body is so, so tired. It's crazy. I don't even know if I have like a sinus infection or if it's just a really bad cold because I usually can tell every year this time the ragweed gets me and I, I usually get sinus infections. So I'm calling it a sinus infection, but I'm not even sure. I usually don't get a sore throat with a sinus infection, but I've had one for a week. All right, so I'm going to just shade this a little bit, y'all, with the dark. I hate telling you all my problems. <laughs> but I feel like I know you like you're my friends, so I, I guess I feel like I can share that with you. All right. So we're going to blend, just blend this a little bit. And I just try to blend out those lines that sometimes you can get. And then that's that on that. I'm going to use the Daffodil Delight. I'm going to use the light first. I don't think I can use the brush one on this one. So I'm going to use the light first and just color it all. I'll show it to you really close once I finish here. So I'm just doing the light. And then I'm going to just shade a little bit with the dark. And then again, I'm going to just smooth that out. All right. And then for the spider wet, I'm, I'm going to use the light gray granite. That one ain't working either. And then I'm just going to shade this a little bit with the, the, the dark as well. This is nothing fancy, y'all. It's just so fun to color. I just really love coloring. For those of you who don't, you can use one of the other hats because those you really don't have to color. They're pretty solid. You know, The one with the polka dots, you really don't have to color. This is so relaxing to me. All right, and then I'm just going to just blend a little bit of this just to get those harsh lines blended out. And then that's it. Isn't that cute? So there it is, all colored in. I'm going to use my punch to punch that out. I'm probably going to have to cut some of this down. And then it's going to punch. This makes it so easy, y'all. I think I need to cut here, too. Yeah. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to punch some stars out because we need some stars and we're going to punch some of the pumpkin pie. I'm going to do it this way because these stars like to fly everywhere. So we have those three. I'm going to use some of the Daffodil Delight. And I'm also going to do the basic black. So 
So we have all three colors right there. All right, now we are going to use our best label and we are going to punch out the blue. And you do have to cut these as you go along. I think I just made it harder cutting all the way. And there's the O. DB that just went flying. All right, y'all, yeah, I had to pick it up off the floor. I knew this wasn't going to be an easy video to do, but stick with me. <laughs> all right, so we have all our pieces ready to go here. So we have everything there. So let me show you how I did the other um, pieces and to put this box together. It's really rather easy. So let's go ahead and score. And we are going to score these all just a little bit different. This one, and we are just scoring on, on this one, the three and a half inch side. So you're going so, to score it at one half. And then what I did was I just turned, flipped it around, and you're going to score it at one and a half. So that is going to be your piece right there for that one. And then on the basic white piece, you are just going to score at one at one half. And on our pumpkin pie piece, you are just you are going to score one half. And that is all your scoring. I'm going to show you how this is all going to go together. So we are going to start with this bottom piece first. This is going to be our Daffodil Delight. And what I'm going to do here is we are going to adhere it to this piece right here. And I'm just doing it right along the score line right there. You can cover the score line or you can let it show it. It really doesn't matter. But I tried to cover it just a little bit. And I am using wet glue use tear and tape or wet glue something really strong because we are going to have to score this again going the other way so let's see if I can get my glue to work so just put it all along there and I did run my finger along this so that it would spread it all out to the edges and now you are going to lay this piece down here that way and I just barely cover barely barely cover the score mark you're going to seal that down there and then we're going to take our basic white piece and this is going to go on here so again we're going to glue that I think I need a little bit more on here it didn't seem like enough I don't want it to fall apart. All right, and then this score mark right here is going to be on the top. So again, just cover that just barely. And then you're going to press that down. And then that's how you get your three different colors. Now we're going to go ahead and score again. And this time, we are going to score the whole thing, and we are going to score it at one half, at two and a half, at four and a half, and at six and a half. Really easy scoring, y'all. That is it. Okay, now we're going to do some cutting. We are going to cut this off right here. This side is going to be our glue tab side right there. Don't cut anything else, just cut that. And then cut up on the bottom pieces. And if you want to cut into a couple of these, you can cut into these. And 
and that is all the cutting that we're going to do. Now we have to do one more thing because it is a milk carton box and we need to score on our top pieces. Now this is the half inch. You're going to score on this middle part right here. So what I'm going to do is you are going to just score. I'm going to do it on the second one and on the last one. So you're going to mark at one inch. Just mark it there and then mark it again at one inch here. This is just cutting this in half, this two inch part right here. Then you're going to score from that mark there to the corner. I'm sure a lot of you have already made um, milk carton boxes. I've made several different sizes. I love them. They're one of my favorite. And I think it was almost like one of the bo first boxes I ever made. And then we are going to score that one to the other side. So it's an upside down V. I'm going to do the same one on here to that corner and then to the other side. All right, so that is everything. Let's sharpen up all these score marks, including these right here. I'm going to just kind of fold in on these and just give them a little bit easier for when we fold up our box. And it's pretty thick up there because you do have, you know, where we glued it. All right, let's sharpen these. I think this turned out really cute. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it I racked my brain trying to figure out how I was going to make it look like a <laughs> candy corn. But it actually turned out pretty cute, I think. All right, so let's go ahead and... Put adhesive all along here. I'm using Stampin' Seal Plus, and then you want to line these up here. Oh, I need to line that up a little bit better. And then these two that I cut into, I'm going to fold inside the box like that. And then we are going to, you, you can use, turn either side, but make sure the side that's going back is your front because it just looks nicer. And if you have anything hanging over, I don't like anything hanging over on the sides. I just trim that little piece off. This one's got it too. You can actually cut into every one of them and it, avoid, it avoids this, having to cut anything off. Alright, I'm going to make this my front right here. So squeeze your sides in. Put your candy in first. Squeeze your sides in. Here. I don't know why that's folding in. I guess I didn't, I didn't, I didn't sharpen this top part. Sharp, sharpen the top part before you do this so that these will meet in the center. And it, it goes in like on the sides like that. If you don't sharpen these, you get, it bulbs out like that. I don't like that. I'm going to try to work it a little bit to get it to lay a little bit flatter there. There, that looks better. <laughs> All right, y'all. And then we're going to punch. I'm going to use my little eighth inch hole punch here. And I'm going to punch a hole in the top here. And on this side. I'm just guesstimating, y'all. And then you, you're going to need to be real careful when you're stringing your ribbon. I'll show you how I strung mine last time because... Um, let's just go ahead and do that. So you're going to have to cut a really nice point on this, whatever you're using, and then just bring it through here first, and then through the other side. Because these little parts that tuck in, they kind of hide the other hole, so that's why I'm showing you this way to do it. And sometimes you have to cut this. This does kind of 
unravel, so you have to cut it a couple times maybe. And there you go. I'm just going to tie a bow. So I love how this ties a bow. It's so cute. And I'm tying it on this side, which I want to be my front. Just like that. I'm tying it on here, which this ribbon is not easy to tie on this way because it's kind of stringy, but we're going to make it work. And then you have to pull this out if you want it to be flared out because it does go on top of each other. It's not really hard to work with at all. And then we're going to just clip there and do this one again. Clean that up. And we're going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm sorry, y'all, if this is all over the place. All right, so... There you go with that. So this is the die that I'm using to cut out the little label. I'm gonna just go ahead, cause this is all we're running through the cut and emboss. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back with it. All right, so here is our label. I love this label, it's so pretty. I love the top and I love the stitching on this. All right, so we're gonna put this on here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use my stamp and seal. I'm just going to put it in the middle right there. And then I'm going to take my little hat right here. We're going to glue this one on. Because I can move it around where I want it. I'm going to put that down here. And then I am popping up our little boo with some dimensionals. Sorry, y'all, if this has been hard to watch. <laughs> All right. So there's our boo. I'm going to move this boo a little bit straighter here. Or the bee. And I'm not making them, I'm not lining them up. I want them a little bit off. And then we're going to glue our little stars on. I'm going to put one up here. We'll do the yellow one. And then I'm going to do an orange one. Well, pumpkin pie. Down here. And then we're going to do one on our, her hat. Right at the bottom there. Now I'm going to use my baker's twine and I'm just going to tie a little bow with the baker's twine. And I'm going to use a glue dot. And we're just going to put it right up at the top here. Okay, so there you go. I hope you stayed with me through this. Oh, I forgot I was going to put one on the, on the bow, too. I put a black one on the bow with a glue dot, too. Almost forgot that little one. Just a little extra. All right, so there you go. Here's the other one. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you stuck through the end with me because, oh my gosh, I've been having a hard time here. But hopefully you enjoyed it even though I'm a little under the weather. I hope you have a blessed day, everyone. If you need any supplies, all the supplies will be listed on my blog and you can shop right from my blog to get all the supplies needed for this project. Have a blessed one, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.